In this section, we're going to be adding and subtracting radical expressions. So let's look at the example 2 square root of 5 plus 4 square root of 5. Now, in this example, we can see that they both have a square root of 5, so they have like radicals. You can only add and subtract radical expressions if they have like radicals. And in this case, they do, so let's go ahead and add them. You just add the numbers in the front, so 2 plus 4, and then you keep the radical. So our answer would be 6 square root of 5. Remember, you can only add or subtract if you have like radicals. Now, we're going to look at another example of this. Here we have 9 radical y minus radical y. And you can see that they have like radicals, so we can go ahead and subtract. But yeah, you want to imagine that there is a 1 in front of the radical y. So 9 minus 1 times radical y, which would leave us with 8 radical y. Now we're going to look at another example. We're going to be simplifying before adding or subtracting here. So we have the square root of 12 plus the square root of 27, or the radical 12 plus radical 27. So we want to simplify the radical 12 first. So what number times what number gives us 12? And you want to try and think of perfect square numbers. So we do 4 times 3 because 4 is a perfect square. And then for 27, we're going to do 9 times 3 because 9 is a perfect square. Now we can go ahead and simplify. If you remember, we can split them both up into individual radicals. So radical 4 times radical 3 plus radical 9 times radical 3. And the radical of 4 would leave us with 2. So 2 times square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 3. And you can see that they're like radicals, so we can go ahead and add them together. 2 plus 3 would give us 5, and we're left with 5 radical 3. Now we're going to go ahead and look at another example of this. We have 5 radical 28x minus 8 radical 7x. You want to start by simplifying, so let's look at the first radical, 28x we can break that down to radical 4 times 7x. The reason we pick 4 is because 4 is a perfect square. Minus 8 radical 7x. Now, radical 4 equals 2 if we simplify it. So 5 times 2 times radical 7x minus 8 radical 7x. Now, 5 times 2 equals 10 radical 7x minus 8 radical 7x. Now we can see that we have like radicals, so we can go ahead and subtract. So 10 minus 8 equals 2, and that would leave us with 2 radical 7x.